Hello, my name is Atsushi Futatsuya, and I'm here to share the sashiko we have been practicing. A few hundred years ago, when Japan was still isolating its nation from most of the world, the working class Japanese people, such as peasant or fishermen, lived in the harsh condition with limited resources. They could not get a cotton fabric so easily. Since they knew that they wouldn't be able to replace the fabric, they stitched first to make fabric stronger and thicker. If the stitched fabric got it torn or got a hole, they used another small piece of torn fabric to mend it instead of replacing it. If they can stitch, they used with the geometric patterns to pray for another ordinary day. And we call it Sashiko in Japanese. In its history, we developed Sashiko culture to more variations of crafting and joining designs and patterns. However, the original scenery of Sashiko is a form of hand stitching out of necessity. In Japanese, ordinarily, to make textile last longer. Today, most of us live in a society where we are able to make choices. However, we minimized the fact of limited resources all over the world and we now face to the importance of the healthy ecosystem, sustainability. In this big trend shift, Sashiko has got its popularity as a sustainable stitching practice in various means such as upcycle, repurpose, visible mending, meditative stitching, and sometimes sustainable art. As lifelong Sashiko artisan, I am happy to see Sashiko being so popular in the world. I do care for the sustainability, and I'm happy to see that what I try to pass down here, Sashiko, may be one remedy for our social concern. On top of that, I would like to share another side of the sustainability. The sustainability I talked about so far is focusing on resources, more like materials. I enjoy stitching and mending my clothes to make them last longer instead of replacing it every season. I am a big fan of sustainable choice of clothing. At the same time, I see some people using this word sashiko in whatever they want, labeling their stitching sashiko without trying to learn the stories behind it. Since sashiko is a Japanese word, it comes with Japanese cultural significance. Therefore, sashiko is more than you may know. Yes, it is their individual freedom to use whatever word they want. However, when we are going to shout out and lift the importance of sustainability, I would like us to care and be respectful of cultural sustainability as well. If we minimize the cultural stories on top of only being sustainable in materials perspective, we may be destroying cultural sustainability, losing the whole picture of the wisdom and stories behind it. The English language is strong enough to repaint other cultures. The choice we have may be too great to filter the small artisanship outside of our common understanding. Therefore, we have to be careful not to fall into this cultural filtration. We should not define someone's culture based on our convenience. You are here today caring for sustainability. Both materials and cultural sustainability can happen simultaneously by being mindful and acknowledging it. We can be respectful to both resources and cultural origin. If this is the first time you hear the word sashiko, I welcome you to this unique and ordinary stitching practice to appreciate the fabric. If you are already familiar with the sashiko and enjoying its practice, please keep learning by listening to the voice from the Japanese artisan. The sashiko you know in English is not wrong, but probably insufficient if you do not know 
the Japanese language. I am here to challenge myself to get out of my comfort zone to share everything I know about sashiko to keep it sustainable. <laughs>